Hey guys, Ryan Graydon here from Hidden Acres and uh, just want to remind you that we are about five weeks out from the retreat. So if you haven't signed up for the Sportsman's Retreat, make sure you do that too. But uh, just wanted to touch base with you guys today because I want to let you know of things that are happening. I'm challenging you a little bit too, you know. If, if some of you know me, you might consider me an extrovert. I like to be social, I like to visit with guys, catch up, what's going on, things like that. But to, to tell you the truth, and, and my wife would confirm this, I'm more of a, what I call a social introvert. Meaning if, if, well, meaning I'm okay being by myself. In fact, that's what I like best. I love solitude, I love quietness, I love sitting there and pondering thoughts, you know, and that's probably what makes me Happy to hunt too, because you guys know as, as well as I do, that's, that's a lot of hunting, is just being by yourself in the woods and, and, and understanding that. And I can be content to be alone all day. I really could. But I also know that that's not how God has made me. Uh, in, in the book of John, chapter 17, Jesus prays that there would be unity in his name, that, that God would give unity to the followers of Jesus. And, and I believe that's for a reason. You see, when we fellowship, we encourage each other. And we, and, we, and we push each other towards a common goal. And so fellowship is super important in our walk with Christ. And we, we shouldn't be out alone. Even if that's what you prefer, we need to be in the fellowship of believers. And to tell you the truth, you guys, that's one of the biggest changes that's going to happen at the Sportsman's Retreat this year for... For years, we have outgrown our chapel, meaning we couldn't fit everybody into one chapel. And that's actually why we split into two different speakers, two different chapels, two different worship bands. But this year, we, I tell you, it's just, I have been to both chapels over those years, and I thought, man, this is going to be incredible. This would be absolutely awesome to get all these men under one roof. And, and to hear you all sing and to be taught all together, to have that fellowship with 600 plus men would be, would be incredible. And you guys, I'm telling you now, that's what's happening this year. We have canceled the two separate chapels um, and we are all going to gather in our gymnasium. We are, we are moving stage equipment in there and sound equipment and everything for that week. And we will have over 600 chairs in there because for the first time in a long time, we are going to gather together in worship and teaching for the weekend. I got to change my hands here because this is getting cold. So. so I know for some of you, that's going to be a change. Some of you may not like that, but I tell you what, I think, I think we need that. I think we need to be together. And it's not that those two smaller chapels weren't fellowshipping and weren't doing that. But I think it's going to be awesome being together. So there's a lot... Uh, there's a lot that's going to change there. That also means the gym's not open for play. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, but to tell you the truth, uh, most of you guys spend your time outside, and that's, that's really the purpose of the weekend. So um, there's other things going on, too. i got to check my list here. Uh, I just want to make sure that you guys know we still need range officers. If you're interested in being a range officer, um, just being in charge of some of the safety on that range, please contact me. I'd love to do that. We give you a discount for the weekend. Um, I also need your trophy pics. You need to send me your trophy pictures. We do that reel, uh, a slideshow reel with all of our announcements. And we like to have those trophy pics there. I um, also have, uh, need workshop, oh, excuse me, workshops and seminar speakers. So if you're interested in doing that, please send me that. If you just have an expertise in an area, um, we'd sure love to see you take up and share that because guys are oftentimes interested in the same thing but just don't know where to start so uh, workshop seminars will give you a, uh, again we'll give you a discount if you're willing to do that and silent auction items we need oh look at here look at here i don't know if you can see this there's a deer rug right there yeah that's why i like walking uh, we also need silent auction items our silent auction last year raised over seven thousand dollars to put towards our summer camp outdoor programs. And you guys, that was incredible. We were able to buy a lot of needed equipment, um, camping equipment, cooking equipment, things like that, tents, and um, it was appreciated. So I'd love to, to get close to that again this year. So if you have an item of value, or if you'd be willing to buy an item and put it on that auction, well, that would be great. Like I said, 100% of those proceeds go to our summer camp program. 
And we also are going to do that gun raffle again. The Boone County Sheriff's Office um, is still needing to raise money for equipment for some of their peeps. So they're doing a three gun raffle. Again, that, that raffle ticket will give you a chance at each of those three guns. And so make sure you come doing that. We're also gonna raffle off another Hidden Acres deer hunt. We had a successful hunt this last uh, fall with Shelby uh, and uh, his deer and his brother came. We had a good time and I'd love to do that with you as I'm, as I'm the guide for that. So, golly, a lot to tell you, a lot to share, but I want you guys thinking about it. Get registered for the event. If you have questions, give me a call. If you're willing to do any of that or send any of that, send it as soon as possible so we'll get it locked in and i hope to see you guys very soon i'll give you more updates in the weeks to come see ya